See this? It's just to show you guys the little capsules they break out of. Look at these eggs. These are the actual eggs that the monitor lizards busted out of. So you can see, maybe you can guess what kind of species it is from the size of these eggs. Look at that. How cool is that? Why are monitor lizards such a favorite species of lizard to me? Well, not just are they extremely intelligent, not just do they look just like a Komodo dragon, but growing up, the only animal that I could legally own that resembled a Komodo dragon or was somewhat similar to a crocodile that I could legally own were monitor lizards. And the monitor has been a monitor lizard that I've always wanted since I was a little kid. What is going on, beautiful people? Good morning. Welcome back to my wildlife. It is currently 8.53 in the morning, which means that about 20 minutes ago, my new lizards have arrived to the Fort Lauderdale Airport on Delta Dash. So, I'm super excited. This is a species of lizard that I've wanted my whole life. I've just never had the opportunity to find them here in captivity in the US because they're very, very hard to breed out here in the US. They're very hard to get your hands on. Not many people have them, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna go to the airport, I'm gonna go pick them up, and I will do an unboxing video at the new snake house. So I will see you guys at the airport after I pick up my little package. I just need a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a, a wake up juice, if you know what I mean. Sponsor me, Starbucks. I'll see you guys at the airport. All right, guys, pulling up to the airport. We're gonna be picking up these monitor lizards in T minus. Uh, where's my GPS? Here? Seven minutes. Almost there. Sick. I am about to pull up to the Delta Dash pickup area. So give me one second. Uno momento, por favor. Here we go. Delta pickup over here. Delta Dash. I dash on over and pick up my lizards. Super exciting stuff. All right, beautiful people, we picked up the package. Here they are. Super excited, I've already taken a peek. They look fantastic. A little bit bigger than how I expected them to be. I was expecting a little bit smaller, but I'm super stoked, that's good. They're growing fast. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm so excited. Let me get back to driving. I have an hour drive down south to the Everglades Outpost, and then we'll unbox these. Oh, yeah. We'll unbox these monitors. See you soon. All right, beautiful people, we've made it to the Everglades Outpost. I've got the precious package right here. These little babies are inside this container. We're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing video inside the snake house, so follow me. I'm gonna go put them inside, get them inside where it's nice and toasty. All right, guys, so very excited. We're gonna be seeing these monitors and minus two. Hey, hey, relax, relax, relax. They're, they're fine. <laughs> Relax, they're a part of the fan. Sniff, look. Sniff. Get the scent. Good. See, they're good. These are your siblings. These are your siblings. Be good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's a little jealous. He's a little jealous. Don't. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Come on in, guys. So, very exciting stuff. Super exciting stuff. I cannot express how long I've been wanting to get these lizards. No, I can't, I can't express pretty well. I've been trying to get this lizard species probably since I was like 12 or 13 years old. They're only found in Australia. No other place on the planet. Here, I'm gonna get this little fish so you guys can sit with me and enjoy this unboxing video. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is huge shout out to Brian Waterloo. Check it out, Brian Waterloo at the bottom of the screen. Brian Waterloo is the man who produced these animals. He's been trying to accomplish this over the past 30 years, so a lot has gone into these projects, specifically for the species. Mind you, I've already taken a peek at them when I went to go pick them up. So I do know they're healthy, but you guys have not seen them yet. Look at this. See this? It's just to show you guys the little capsules they break out of. Look at these eggs. These are the actual eggs that the monitor lizards busted out of. So you can see, Maybe you can guess what kind of species it is from the size of these eggs. Look at that. How cool is that? These are the dried up eggs from which these monitors came out of. And actually, I'm gonna keep these. So one day in the far future, I can look back and say that this big lizard came out of this little tiny egg. That's really cool. He sent the eggs. So we've got, uh, let's see, we've got F11 came out of this egg. That's pretty cool. F11 came out of that one. And then the other one's cut up a bit. I'm guessing it's F12. Who knows? Super exciting stuff. Let me put the eggs right over here. They got some notes right here. Baroness. 
This is the family that the monitor lizards come from. The same family as the Komodo dragon. All those beautiful big fork tongue lizards. Ooh. Super excited I'm dropping mail. He left me some letter in here. Let me see what we got cooking. Oh, okay. All right, so if I show you guys this, it's gonna give away what I've got here. So let me, um, let me, let me put these cards down so you can see these cards. Let me read this to you. Chandler, hope you enjoy working with, leak this out. Hope you enjoy working with <laughs> as much as I do. They are an amazing lizard. Thank you for your business. I appreciate your quick and painless transaction. Oh, believe me, it was quite the transaction. All the best, Brian Waterloo. Thanks again. Brian Waterloo, thank you. You understand, you're literally making dreams come true right here. I have a tier list for my favorite monitor lizards on the planet, let alone the ones I want to own and work with. Komodo dragons up top. Right after that is the Parenti from Australia. Australia's biggest goanna, biggest monitor lizard. And then after that is the species right here. Let's stop the anticipation. Let's bring them out. Guys, look at this. These are juvenile lace monitors. Baroness Various. And there are two different phases in here. There's the regular looking lace monitor in here, and then we have what's called a Bell's phase lace monitor, which has the coloration of a black and white cow. Let's see how these guys are. I heard that they're actually quite docile. So look at that. Look at them in the container. Look how insane. The one on top is the regular looking Veneris. And then the black and white one is the Bell's phase. Look at that. They're actually really laid back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the little lace monitors. Look at that face. Look at the striping along the face. It is just like a Velociraptor if you look just at the face. This is such an iconic Australian species. What's really cool about this species specifically when it comes to their babies is that the females are known to go to termite mounds. Dig into the termite mounds near the center, which is actually kept around like 30 degrees Celsius, which is the perfect temperature for incubating monitor lizard eggs, specifically the lace monitor. So what happens is they bury the eggs in a cavity in a termite mound and then termites build back over the egg cavity. And then months later, they'll hatch out, breaking out of that cavity in the termite mound. So it's kind of like a symbiotic relationship with the termite mound. But mainly, the monitors are benefiting from it, not so much the termites. Look how cool that is. This guy's going through shed, so his colors are slightly dull. Like I said, these guys are extremely young. They're like, let me think about this. They're probably just over a month old right now, or just under a month old. This is insane. I'm so stoked. This is the second largest lizard species in Australia. This animal can potentially get over six feet long. And not just are they beautiful looking and they get so large, they're some of the smartest animals on the planet. Monitor lizards are so smart, it's not even funny. They've been known to be target training. They, they are known to come to their own names. They're extremely intelligent and can be super tolerant of people to the point where they're like big cats or like big puppies. Isn't that right? All right, guys. What should I name these lace monitors? What should I name? We got a beautiful cow phase looking, Bell's phase monitor right here. And then we have the beautiful male, I believe, which is right over here with the beautiful velociraptor looking pattern on his face, that crazy tiger pattern with these long tails. Now these guys are arboreal as well. They will climb high up into trees, hunting, looking for food. I had a custom exoterra tank that I built a background for right over here. This is super cool. So I did an insulation foam background like I have done for my other setups, like my green tree monitor. And I've put driftwood and giant chunks of wood in here for them to climb and bask on. There's an awesome, awesome little basking spot right over here for them to use. So lots of substrate for them to bury themselves, plenty of space, and this should last them hopefully the next three months. These guys will grow like weeds to the point where I can actually set them up in an outdoor enclosure a year from now. Look at that. Look how cool, they, look how laid back these lizards are. Yes, they are quite cool to the touch, but at the end of the day, this is a very socialized species, especially from Brian Waterloo. He makes sure they're nice and docile, and he hangs out with all of them. And when I said this is a 30-year project that he's been working on, I'm not kidding, guys. Literally, he's been working on this for 30 years. 
from the day he got his first lace monitor as a hatchling like this, raising it up and then finding other lace monitors to raise up and eventually figuring out what he has to do to actually breed them here in captivity here in the United States. Like I said, they're only from Australia and Australia does not export their wildlife. So the only ways to get these guys is have them captive bred from other countries or from in the country that you were found in. Dude, look how cool this is. This is so friggin' cool. I kid you not, like I said before, animals, monitor lizards that I've always wanted to work with, let alone own, Komodo dragon, the Parenti from Australia, the lace monitor, and then after that comes the croc monitors and all the other badass species found around the planet. Why are monitor lizards such a favorite species of lizard to me? Well, not just are they extremely intelligent, not just do they look just like a Komodo dragon, but growing up, the only animal that I can legally own that resembled a Komodo dragon or was somewhat similar to a crocodile that I can legally own were monitor lizards. And the lace monitor has been a monitor lizard that I've always wanted since I was a little kid. But they're not readily available here in the US. And just now in the recent year, people have started to begin breeding them here in the United States. So I'm super excited about the... Ooh, I'm just, see, look how calm they are. They're even freaking out. This is how socialized and habituate, habituated they are. Excuse me, I'm really back and I'm excited. This is freaking awesome for me. I'm stoked about this. I just can't express how happy I am about these lace monitors. Look how freaking cool they are. Look at their faces. They are little velociraptors. So I actually have some new heat bulbs, a new UVB bulbs I'm gonna hook up on the top of this Exoterra over there because hopefully when this fish tank is delivered today for the Fly River Turtle Fin, which is setting up right here on this wall, Hopefully they can deliver that exoterra cage as well so I can replace the broken door on this big exoterra so I can stick these guys into there. I think that's a part that I forgot to mention. The door that originally was on here and creating the back of the insulation, we're creating this background. The little plastic bit that holds the glass door kind of chipped off, broke. So I'm getting another exoterra. I'm gonna fix the door on this one eventually, but for now I'm just replacing the brand new door. Look how cute they are. Look how freaking awesome these lizards are. They're just hanging out with me. They're not flighty. They're not running away like a lot of other monitor lizards do. Let me see if I can pick them up real easy. Look at that. I have no problem picking them up, handling them. They are super relaxed with the presence of people, which is going to make raising them up extremely entertaining and fun for me because it's going to be like having two big ferrets with no fur. Look at that. And what's really cool, the reason uh, I picked out this specific Bell's phase out of the rest of them because Brian Waterloo does have multiple pairs of monitor lizards breeding. He has multiple babies available. I picked this Bell's phase specifically because if you look at the back of its head, it actually has like a jack-o'-lantern face. Look at that, like a little pumpkin carving, smiling. So let that uh, flow into your brains out there for the creative juices for thinking about names for these guys. Definitely think about some cool names. It's an endemic species to Australia, so think of some cool Australian names. And what a better animal to showcase before I leave at the end of this month to Australia. It's gonna be so cool. We're gonna be able to see these guys in the wild and maybe get my hands on one in the wild. So that would be really cool. Yeah. Also, since I'm gonna be out of town for nearly two weeks, somebody who's a big fan of monitor lizards that's gonna be giving me a hand while I'm out of town socializing these guys, which is Probably not going to be too much of a problem. Tyler Nolan, he loves to raise up baby monitors and he's doing me a big favor making sure they stay socialized while I'm out of town. Isn't that right little babies? Look at that. Such awesome little lizards. So they're a little bit cool to the touch. I'm going to actually start setting up these heat lamps and getting them ready to go. So I'll see you guys in a couple moments. Oh my god, I can't stop. There's no view. There's no view. Here, on my shoulder. There you go. Alright guys, what I'm going to do now while I'm waiting for my fish tank to be delivered for Finn the Fly River Turtle and for that other Exoterra to be delivered, I think what I want to do is make sure I get my bulb set up and get these guys toasted because like I said, they were on a flight. They're not super cold, but they are a little bit chilly, so I want to get them underneath the heat lamp so they get nice and toasty. I believe one of them is exploring my hair. Is this true? Yes, I think one of them are exploring. Look how cute they are. They're so inquisitive. They're like the ferrets of the reptile world. Gotta make sure it's full. Right, there we go. There we go, there we go. Put this right here. Nice good basking spot. Perfecto, perfecto. 
Grazie, grazie. Grazie, Brian Waterloo. Thank you. Man, he's such a good dude for giving me such a great deal. And it's not like a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I paid for these monitor lizards. I'm just so happy with the animals that came through. So thank you so much, Brian Waterloo. You are the man, and you are a lace monitor legend here in the U.S. And notice how relaxed they are and how chill they are as I do all this stuff. They're just hanging out on my shoulders, watching what I do. They don't mind a thing. Let me see. There we go. And you can see I designed this very specifically. I put a nice basking spot coming right underneath where the heat lamp would be. Let's see. They're so cute. Look at look how awesome they are. Let me see if this is gonna heat up enough. It should be a perfect temp. I got the right bulbs. So let me see what else I got. Another one right here for UVB. And these lights will be taken off this terrarium and put on a vision cage if I have to switch them over to the vision. Because obviously, since I'm missing a door on this cage, they can't stay in here unattended. Because they'll crawl out. You know, they're very inquisitive. They're not going to stay in there. Funny story, growing up when I was a young lad going to middle school, having all these monitor lizards and tegu lizards being scratched up all the time when I would leave school taking care of my pets, when I go back to school, I'd have scratches and scrapes all over my wrist. That sometimes the teacher would act, ask me if I'm doing okay at home, if I'm depressed or something. So, now we like, no, 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 I have pet lizards, and that's what all the scratches were. One time, I even brought Jade, the black-throated monitor, to my middle school. And when I brought her to the principal's office, who was fond of reptiles, and actually gave me permission to bring the reptiles to school, uh, Jade laid a giant spicy meatball in the middle of the hall, right in front of the principal's office. So, good times, good times, isn't that right? Falcon Cove Middle School. Get to, oh, that's not going to fit. I got too big of a bowl for this fixture. That's fine. I have other fixtures I can use. But for right now, we've got our heat lamp hooked up, which is most important because we want our monitor lizards to get nice and toasty right now. There we go. And they're probably going to realize that's nice and toasty and good heat. They're probably going to flat out their ribs and enjoy that real good. Come here, kid. I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to kiss you. Come here. There we go. Put this little guy right here. Perfect. And we're going to hang out here in the room and keep an eye on them. We're not going to leave them unattended. We just want to make sure they get nice and toasty because they had a nice flight to Florida. This is so awesome. Thank you again, Ryan Waterloo. If you guys love lace monitors and you're very experienced with monitor lizards here in the U.S., check out Ryan Waterloo if you want to get your own lace monitor. But like we say, these animals take a lot of experience to take care of. They are a high maintenance animal. They're not for the beginner reptile keeper. If you want to just get into monitors, try savannah monitors, try some of the smaller species like the Aki monitors, start slow and work your way up. Because this is the second largest lizard species in Australia. Alright guys, that's been the unboxing video for our new family members, the lace monitors. Comment below, what do you think we should name these little beauties? I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and oh, big reminder, at the end of February, we're going to Australia, so I'll see you guys in the Outback as well. Bye. Thank you.